Buffalo, 34, and Toledo, 17. And, y'all, Toledo led this game 27 to 10 going into the fourth quarter. How does Jason Candle continue to do this? Uh, you, you look at this, fourth quarter for, for Buffalo, they had an eight-play, 64-yard drive for a touchdown, six-play, 80-yard drive for a touchdown, uh, four-play, 43-yard drive for a touchdown. They fumbled the ball, and Toledo could do nothing with it, and then they kicked a field goal at the end. Like seven plays, 15 yards. Look at the time of possession on these drives. Eight plays, 64 yards in 217. Six plays, 80 yards in 210. Four plays, 43 yards in a minute 21. I said this on the BetUS show this week. Like Somebody asked us about this ball game, about what do we think about Toledo. And Toledo, on paper, looks like the best team in the MAC, And they had played like it for the majority of the season. But this happens every freaking year with Jason Candle. I just don't understand how it continues to happen like this. Um, third downs, I mean, both teams, 5 out of 17, 5 out of 16. Uh, Toledo on fourth down was 3 out of 5. Uh, they outgained Buffalo. Like, they they had more rushing yards and a better yards per rush average. Uh, but four interceptions and two fumbles. Six turnovers for Toledo to only one for Buffalo. And Buffalo only won the game by a touchdown. Like, it, it, this, at some point, you've got to start questioning what is happening here. Toledo, what is going on? Uh, just, and, and of course, Daquan Finn, the quarterback for Toledo, got hurt at the end of the game. Who knows what's going to happen there? But this team, like, I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say about Toledo at this point. I mean, this team is, they should be so much better. They should, they, that should have never happened. And yes, the game was at Buffalo, but you're up 27 to 10 in the fourth quarter. How do you lose by seven in regulation? Just mind blowing. It's not like we had App State, North Carolina going on here. Just uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, cheers to Buffalo. Uh, I know that the story should be about the team that won, and Buffalo certainly took advantage. Uh, Maurice Lingus, by the way, or by the, yeah, by the way, I may have been wrong about him. I did not think it was going to be a very good hire. Um, it turns out I do that a lot lately. Uh, but he's kind of rebuilt this roster. He's done some pretty interesting things with this team. They look like they're having fun. They took advantage of mistakes by Toledo for sure. Uh, Zone 6 jumped in and said it was turnover day. It was in almost every game. Yeah, it was It was nuts. They, there were a lot of turnovers. A lot of turn- I just talked about UCF having four of them. Toledo had six. Miami had eight. I mean, these are mind-blowing stats. Ball security. Like, what in the hell? Just unreal. Unbelievable. All right, last game here. Uh, <laughs> Devin jumps in. Arkansas State. Shake my head. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Well, let, let's talk about the Sun Belt. This is one that I wanted to bring up because I couldn't believe what went on. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.